Hey, what's going on? My name is Garrett, and welcome to a DNA Drives video. In today's video, I want to talk about five things that I wish I knew when I was buying my 2012 Mustang 5.0. A couple things before we get into today's video. If you are new here, consider subscribing down below. Here at DNA Drives, we create weekly content on two cars this Mustang 5.0 and then we also have a 300 SRT with 70,000 miles you know that really cool rare beautiful car that Chrysler no longer brings to the US so definitely check out our channel if you are interested in both of those cars and consider subscribing down below today also if you are a returning subscriber you may notice the audio it should be a little bit better I recently bought a new microphone for making videos and I hope that you guys can tell a substantial difference also when we hit 1,000 subscribers which we are halfway there thank you again there will be a new car on the channel so don't miss out on that with all that said let's get into the video so the things that I want to talk about some of them do apply to the Mustang 5.0 and then others just apply to you know any other car that you may be looking at so with that being said Number one, it doesn't exactly apply to me because I did bring this item with me, but it's just good to have it uh, going forward looking at any car. But number one is to bring a scanner. And if you don't have a scanner, by the way, no, this is not a sponsored video. If you don't have a scanner, um, there are tons of scanner reviews out there on YouTube and I highly recommend you get one that is under $50. This is the scanner I have. It's called the Ansel or Ansel AD410 OBD2 scanner. It plugs into the car just like any other scanner. And it reads codes, it erases codes, um, it checks the cars for readiness, which is another thing um, that you definitely want to check when checking out a Mustang 5.0 because if the codes were cleared, like mine happened to be at the time of when I was looking at my car, um, checking for readiness, it will be able to tell if there were any codes that were erased. It, it kind of looks for things that are permanent. But yeah, I got this for about 40 bucks from Amazon. And this was a scan tool that Scotty Kilmer recommended. I'm a huge fan of him and his channel. So yeah, make sure you buy a scanner if you don't have one. It's really important to bring one whenever you're checking out one of these Mustangs or just any car in general. You know, because this is a type of car that people drive very, very hard. And yes, the 5.0s are reliable and they just keep going and going. But it really is ideal to know what kind of problems this car has before you get into one. For number two, man, this is something I wish I knew. But if you're looking at getting one of the manuals, one thing that you can do when you're going to test drive the car is, for example, if you're going about... 45 50 55 miles an hour and you want to perform a pull try putting the car into a low gear while rolling at that high speed and hang out there for about five six seven seconds and see if anything happens when I got my car about a week week and a half later I was doing just that I was rolling on a 55 mile per hour road and I was about ready to give it a pull and take off so I put the car in third or second gear hung out there for three four seconds and it triggered a limp mode that's a huge problem I was like oh my gosh like that is something that I wish I definitely knew when I was looking at getting this Mustang I know it's not your car at the time but better safe than sorry you don't want to buy this car and then figure that out um, later on like I did it really sucks but anyways that is just something that I feel like is very important number three on the list make sure you know if the car has a tune on it especially if you're planning to modify this car because if the car has a tune on it and you don't know it and you go and modify the car whether it's exhaust or something underneath the hood and you start messing around with stuff it can it just would not lead to like a fun time for you so make sure you know if the car has a tune on it not just that make sure it comes with the original tuner and make sure you know the relationship between the car and the tuner if the tuner is married or unmarried to the car because that is very useful to know for number four I'm really about to shame myself for this when I was test driving my car I didn't hit enough rough payment and not only that I had the owner in the back seat and she was doing a lot of this which is fine and all 
and really nice but that caused me to skip how bad the suspension was in the back and also I, I really did not even notice the steering clunk that I have I don't know if you can hear that but when I'm parked and I start turning the wheel it has a very loud clunk sound so that's another thing so make sure you just do a very thorough job unlike me if I would have known how bad the suspension really was and this clunk that I supposedly skipped over and didn't hear I would have nudged on that price even more number five on the list it is a good thing to make sure the car is clean prior to your arrival whether it is a dealership or a private owner ask them nicely to wash the car before you arrive and I say this because dirt on a car can hide a lot and if the car especially if the car is a lighter color white paint or the lighter the color the more imperfections it is able to hide and just because the car is a clean title actually doesn't mean that the car wasn't in a wreck or the car doesn't have any sort of body work for cars that are black or a dark color dark blue whatever it is it is harder for that color that tone of paint to hide bodywork or anything else that is not perfect in paint when I went to go look at my car I asked the seller if they could wash the car but when I arrived sadly it wasn't washed and when I walked up to the car I could tell that the car was dirty and on the passenger side I noticed a really weird discoloration and I thought it looked like kind of oily very grimy it didn't bother me and I ended up purchasing the car obviously throughout ownership I have noticed that this car was definitely painted and might have had bodywork done to it at some point in its life it is a clean title car but once again just because it's clean title doesn't mean it wasn't in a wreck or it didn't have any bodywork definitely ask the seller if they can wash the car prior to your arrival it could save you some headaches in the long run and along with that being said another thing to look for is check the bumpers and all the panels fit and finish which are all the gaps that are in between panel to panel make sure they are consistent and then also with the rear and front covers the bumpers if the corners are sticking out that could be an indication that it is an aftermarket bumper which could question if the car was hit also one more thing to look for the corners if the corners of the bumper stick out or any panels that could be another thing that could have you questioning I hope this video helped you out and I hope it made sense Sorry if I got a little bit off topic, I just wanted to give as much helpful information to you as possible. And if you learned something from today's video, please give it a like and consider subscribing if you're not subscribed already. At the time of this upload, we just hit 500 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. Thank you so much to each and every one of you for taking time out of your day to watch our videos. Thank you so much, take care, we'll see you in the next one. started when a duck met another duck and they met another duck and they became the duck trio the end